the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra was recently seen on 3C. The listing revealed the charging specifications for Samsung's next flagship smartphone. The Samsung flagship phones are listed on the 3C website just days after the S23 Ultra visited. The listing reveals the S23 series' charging specifications. Let's take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 series specifications, features, and other information that is currently available. Do you want to know more? The Chinese 3C Authority has approved the Samsung Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Plus. The 3C certification, as usual, has revealed the fast charging capabilities of both flagship phones. Last week, the 3C also approved the Galaxy S23 Ultra. According to these certifications, the Galaxy S23 lineup may have the same charging speeds as the Galaxy S22 series. Yep, you heard it right. The Samsung Galaxy S23 has the model number SMS9110 on the 3C certification website, while the S23 Plus has the model number SMS9160. According to the listing, both smartphones will support 25-watt fast charging. Aside from that, the database contains no other information about the upcoming Samsung flagship smartphones. According to previous reports, the upcoming S23 and S23 Plus devices will have nearly identical specifications to their predecessors, the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. The smartphones, however, will be powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which is unusual for Samsung devices. Meanwhile, we can anticipate the company launching an Exynos 2300-equipped variant of the devices in select markets. According to a recent report, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series could be powered by an Exynos SoC. The Galaxy S23, like this year's Samsung Galaxy S22, is expected to have a 6.1-inch display. In addition, Samsung is rumored to be planning to increase the battery capacity of the Galaxy S23+. Plus. Rather than the 4500 mAh battery capacity found on the Galaxy S22+, Plus, the Galaxy S23 is expected to have a 4700 mAh rated battery. A report earlier this month suggested that the Samsung Galaxy S23 series could be powered by some Exynos SoC. There is a chance that this is the Exynos 2300 SoC. According to another report, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series will have the same dimensions as the Galaxy S22 series. According to the report, the Galaxy S23 measures 146.3 by 70.9 by 7.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S22 measures 146 by 70.6 by 7.6 millimeters. The Galaxy S23, like the Galaxy S22, is expected to have a 6.1-inch display. This isn't surprising given that Samsung hasn't updated its charging technology on its flagship S-series handsets in four years. Even the recently released premium Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 is limited to 25-watt charging. It's unclear why the Korean company would still want to limit the charging speed to 25 watts after shipping the Galaxy S22 Ultra and S22 Plus, as well as the 2019 Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which all have 45-watt charging capabilities. In case you don't know, in 2019, Samsung added 25-watt charging support to its Galaxy S10 series. While it was impressive at the time, the tech world has changed. On the market, there are 65-watt, 80-watt, 120-watt, and 150-watt charging technologies, and brands are reportedly testing a whopping 240-watt fast charging speed. In comparison, Samsung's 25-watt charging speed by 2022 standards appears to be obsolete. While the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra may not have the fastest charging speed in the class, it may have a 200-megapixel rear camera. Aside from charging speed, the 3C certification reveals little else about the flagships, including battery capacities. However, we believe they will be equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which is set to debut later this year. The SoC is said to be a 4nm chipset with one Cortex-X3, two Cortex-A720, two Cortex-A710, and three Cortex-A510 cores. The Galaxy S23 phones, like the Galaxy S22 lineup, are likely to ship with Qualcomm chipset in India. All in all, Samsung is going to scale up and set the bar high in the Android world. There's no stepping back. Samsung is doing everything to stand out and be the best in the Android marketplace. Samsung is really leveling up its game. Well, with that said, what do you think about this video? 
For more exciting and informative videos, keep watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.